Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Limited Time Series Run Through. In this episode, we'll be featuring Ferrari F12 Berlinetta. So if you don't already own this car, you will win the car plus 50 gold. And if you already own the car, I guess uh, you just get a few gold to help you out with the upgrade if you don't have it upgraded far enough. And of course, if you already have it upgraded far enough, then, well, run through the series so you win some gold, right? It's going to be a seven-day uh, limited time series, and it is April 29th, uh, Sunday here in U.S. So that means, you know, next Friday or uh, next Saturday or Sunday is most likely when this event expires. So, uh, as usual... Here's the breakdown of the rewards of those the 50 total gold. And of course, as usual, 15 tier event. So that's 45 races that we'll have to win gold trophies from. And uh, let's jump in with the hunter here in tier one at uh, Le Mans. So we're starting out with a long race here. Uh, the usual message from Natalia, of course, but uh, since we gotta get the upgrades going right away with these limited time series, so here's the round one of uh, upgrades, which is all gonna be first tier upgrade, all cash. They all have two hours and 30 minutes uh, wait time for R&D. So let's see, they're all gonna be around 50,000 somewhere between 40 and 50,000 racing dollar upgrades so let's check out the body so that's a little bit lower a little bit cheaper uh, 33 so maybe okay more like 30 and of course brakes gonna be even cheaper than bodies so um, yes we'll get all the cash upgrades that's available and then we'll have to get some gold upgrades as well um, if you uh, there's I actually made a separate video just dealing with of course the upgrade scheme for completing this event so uh, if you're wondering if you just want to see what the final upgrades need to be and the cost by the way which is like uh, 216 gold um, then uh, I'll put the link in the description for the video below so you guys can go check out that other video uh, regarding the upgrade scheme for completing this series but for this video we'll um, get these upgrades going here all as I said this car has uh, two tiers of cash upgrades right away so that's uh, kind of nice I suppose nice but not so nice at the same time um, in these kind of limited time series because we'll have to upgrade it far enough anyway so it just means at the beginning we have a lot of uh, wait time but I suppose second tier cash upgrade takes less wait time the R&D than the third tier upgrade so in a sense I guess it does maybe work out in our favor but doesn't that also mean the third tier upgrades because they are gold upgrades they are more expensive than if it were the second tier upgrade well it doesn't really matter but anyway, here we got the Hunter at Le Mans. So we're starting out, as I was saying, with a long form race here. Hopefully this um, typically single lap at Le Mans does not put the car in red, but it does bring, it, bring your service on the car pretty far down, pretty darn close to uh, critical conditions. So we'll see how this... Uh, how much of a long haul it's gonna be since I will as usual try to run through this without servicing the car um, so since I cannot really do zero upgrade run here I'll try to do uh, zero service run if that makes uh, any sense but anyway uh, by now you guys should be pretty familiar with this track and the car does behave very similar to the one that we recently had to race in the most recent special event, Inheritance, the 812 Superfast. So both cars are pretty slippery. 
Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And that's m how most Ferraris behave in this game. If you guys are not used to it, uh, let me break it to you. That's how it is. So you have to be a bit more conservative when it comes down to your braking points and how hard you can take uh, all the corners that we have we will encounter as we run through this limited time series and then some. Now F12 Berlinetta, this is a gold purchase car. So if you don't own it, obviously limited time series is a great easy way to obtain this car since you know you have to put yes gold into upgrades 216 of it actually in total but you get 50 of it back but then again you win the car for really free and the car I believe costs somewhere in 300 gold range so it's not the most expensive but certainly not the cheapest either so uh, and as I said limited time series pretty easy way to just grind it out you have seven days to do it uh, so just run through upgrade your car if you can afford it definitely go ahead and try to win it through limit times limited time series here and if you don't have enough gold to upgrade if you cannot win 216 gold before the expiration of this event ah then you gotta i guess keep on racing and try to um, um, increase your gold bank i guess i mean there really is no other way to do it without spending real money which generally don't necessarily do so anywho here we are we got the visual of our target prey car Sylvia in front and since uh, target distance was pretty far behind uh, Sylvia we'll just kind of hang back here and uh, try to win by minimal margin so we won't have to service the car along the way if, if I don't have to. Anyway, going very slow here through the final forge chicane. And we'll let that uh, second place catch up to us here. Our German flag bot, lol lol lol. I think that's what it was. There we go. Close oh. enough. 549 meters behind Sylvia. And of course, um, Le Mans, because it's such a long circuit. The fame bonus is pretty decent, even for a single lap, we get 1800 points. And the limited time series payout is actually reasonably uh, good as well, better than your bonus series. So there's the, I just have the three green bars left in the service bar. So we'll see how quickly I run out of the, run this car into critical condition. In the meantime, there's the trophy number one, and we're continuing on. See you in the next video. All right.